Hey everyone, it's Helena and I'm sure you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to be showing you guys a tour of our new combi van. Um, so this is a 1974 Volkswagen combi, um, as you can see it has all the patina still on it, which we are actually going to keep because it's preserved to look like this. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to give you a little tour of the inside and outside, um, mostly so I can remember because we are going to do a few changes to it, so just so I can remember what it was like before. Okay, so um, firstly with the outside of it, um, it's obviously looks like it's rusty, but it's more of like a sunburn and it's also preserved to look like this and we really like the look of it. Um, we want to go for more of like a rock and roll sort of and very punk look on the outside of the van and then on the inside we'll make it look really new and bright. Um, but so our business logo has um, established 2020 on it and so what we're going to do is we're going to put the logo of the business all along here and we are going to make it look faded so that it looks like it's a really old van, one of those old ones that used to have their business logos on it and it's like faded out. But because it has established 2020 on it, it's gonna be like a little bit interesting and people will be like, oh, why does it say established 2020 if it looks really old? Uh, so that's the plan for that. Um, and this is just our awning that comes out. Um, I won't pull it out now just because it's a bit of a work, but um, it comes out a fair bit. And I don't know if you can see, but on the roof we have our solar panel that um, powers everything inside the van that I'll show you guys later and yeah and um, a really cool part of the windows which I love which are actually aftermarket are these ones which are from actually a T1 combi which is the split screen combi um, but they're so cool and since there's no um, air conditioning in combis when you um, turn it and turn it this way it actually the air comes through so well and it's as if it's like almost an air conditioning um, and this is the inside I will go more into the inside in a bit and these are the wheels we have on it at the moment. Um, they're pretty cool. Um, I really like the white walls and the spikes of it. We might get some bigger spikes just to stand out a bit more and maybe some more chrome, but we're not too sure about that just yet. Um, and I'll come to the front of the van. So this is the front. It's pretty cool. There's the Volkswagen logo behind the wheel. You can't really see it. Um, but yeah, and it's got the cool wiring over the headlights. And for our number plate, we've actually already ordered it, but um, it says our brand's logo, which is Wave. And it's actually a sunset um, number plate too, so it's really going to stand out on this van. And that's really what we want. We want it to look like new and old all at once. So with the old looking car and the old looking logo on it, but the new logo as well with the established 2020 and the new plates, it'll just be something more interesting to add to the van. Okay, and as we come to the van, let's open the door. Um, it's got really nice detailing. Um, this van was actually rebuilt. I might add some photos into this video too so you guys can see what it was like before, but it was literally like nothing. They had to replace the whole floors on it and all of this, uh, uh, what if you call this on the side of the door, wasn't there either. Um, so whoever did this did a really, really good job. Um, these are the seats. I'll come in. Uh, so this is the inside. This is the original radio. Um, I don't think it works very well anymore. Um, an old lighter in here to, if you want to charge your phone, you can charge it through there. Um, or you can charge it through um, our new radio, which is really cool. It just turns on by this switch. And then um, it actually, like, we've been using it as an aux cord, so we just have our aux connected, and the speakers in this car are so, so good. And here are just our um, like airflow. These are like warm air and hot air, and this is just like cool air. We don't have AC in here, um, but we do have this little fan, which is pretty cool. It's actually run by this switch down here, uh, which you just pull, and it runs. And it's actually really good. Like <laughs> it blows quite a lot, and yeah, it's actually really good. Um, just your hazards here. Um, the blink is really cool because it's on the left which is obviously different to normal cars. It, oh, this is also an automatic, which is pretty rare to find a high top automatic combi, um, which is perfect for us. And yeah, the horn, um, I'll have to turn the car on so you guys can, <coughs> well, I'll have to turn the car on so you guys can hear the horn, but it's a really funny. Um, and here are just all the gauges. Um, in here, this was, this used to be the old um, combi clocks in here, um, but they're really hard to find anymore, and so yeah, that's just not in there. 
Um, we actually don't know what this switch does. We've asked a few um, Volkswagen specialists and they don't know either. So it's obviously an aftermarket switch that's been put in. Um, and yeah, same thing with the windows on this side of this combi. And yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just turn it on so you guys can see. That's not my hand, that's Tom's hand actually. <laughs> but yeah, and the horn. That is so cool, it sounds so funny. And the washers and all that. And from the front seats you can just access the rest of the inside in here. Um, but I'll go back to the outside and show you guys like the side door and all that. When you open, um, you have the whole inside of here. Okay, so this is the inside. Um, we are doing quite a few changes to the inside. So, um, as you can see, it's all like an orangey sort of timber. Um, and, oh, the back wall, we just put that laminate stuff just to see roughly an idea of um, colours. Um, so that's actually not going to be staying there. Um, but yeah, we don't really like the um, orangey wood. It looks really cool in, in this van and... I know why they would have done it, because it looks like the old original sort of ones. Um, but we really want the inside to be quite a contrast from the outside. Um, so we just had these seats made, these vinyl um, seats that come out into the rock and roll bed. Um, the Before that it was just this sort of timber again and it was just wood um, as the seat. And so we really did need to get them upholstered. Um, so this is just our, our little board, but this comes out here, especially, it's really cool if you have like... Um, I don't know, food or something. If you have people over, you can just kind of have a little food going here. Um, this is our sink, which um, works. So this is all powered. Everything in this part of the van is powered by the solar panel on the roof. Um, so we have this all down here, which is all of our battery. It's, it's actually really cool. It does so much stuff. Um, but for example, um, off grid, this van, when it's fully charged, which it's fully charged now, um, can last four weeks um, off grid with no um, external power because we do have the um, 240, 240 volt outside of the van, which I'll show you guys later. Um, but so, for example, for the sink, um, we just flick this switch on. Uh, <laughs> So this is the, it's all labeled like this is fridge, the cabin lights and fresh water pumps. So if you just flick the fresh water pump on, then we should have all of our water. We need water, which is cool. And that just comes um, out of the van. Nothing special there, just comes straight out. Um, and how this works is from in here, you open this little thing. And this is just our um, jug, so it's obviously got some sort of pump or something when you um, flick the switch, but when this water's out, you just refill it and then you can keep having more water, which is really cool. Um, this is our fridge. Um, I don't have it on at the moment, but you just flick on the switch and leave it on for a couple of hours and then it'll be cool. Um, but yeah, it's got a bunch of different functions. Um, I'll open it. It has a latch, obviously, so... Um, when you're driving, it doesn't fling open. Same as all these doors, they are actually got magnets on them and little latches. So, just the inside of our fridge. Pretty simple. It's got a little free freezer part as well, which is cool. Um, in here is just more storage. Um, we just have some oil in there right now because we just always need to bring extra oil in case because it's a combi. Um, and this is our table also. Um, I will take it out in a second to show you guys, but I'm fully standing in here right now. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but um, <clears throat> I'm about 178 centimeters, and like I'm comfortably standing in here. Have a bit more room too, which is pretty cool. Um, so what we're doing inside, as I said, we're gonna um, not keep this color of the wood. So what we're doing is we're keeping all the top tiles here because they're really nice and I really like them. Um, but all this orange wood, we're going to be changing to white, same as this fridge, we're going to be making white. But we're going to be keeping these handles black, um, so that, yeah, it's just like a contrast. You've got black and white inside, but more white in this section, because when you open the doors of the panel van, because it doesn't, that's the um, sound of <laughs> the, um, uh, what do you call it, the radio turning off, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, because um, when you open these doors, it's quite dark in here because you've only got the front windows and the back windows, whereas um, some of the combis aren't just like a panel van. They've got windows along the side. 
Um, so yeah, we just want to make it white in here because it really does brighten it up. Like we noticed a big difference even just adding um, the white couch in here. Um, but for here, um, you've got this like, I don't know what you call this, but it's kind of like carpet black stuff here. And this is just carbon fiber right now. There's nothing more than that here. So what we're going to do is we are still 100% deciding, but we're pretty certain we want to get um, white vinyl um, just to layer it over there. Same, same color as this vinyl. Um, and this is, there's so much storage in this um, van, um, but this is the one of our storage spots, um, just if we have clothes. Same thing again, we need to put all the vinyl and stuff in there. Um, and this is our little mirror, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And the same thing here for um, this cabinet, it's the exact same as the other one. Um, and we have, you ha you can sit two people um, back here as well, um, but we just have one of the seatbelts out at the moment. Um, I'm just going to take the um, table out now so you guys can see, but it just comes out like that. And this we put just above in the top storage cabinet up here. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see, but just put it back up here. And then this just comes out. And then we put this back up here also. And, um, I'm actually going to show you guys the lights if you can see. Um, you won't be able to see as well, but these lights are really good in here. They, they get so bright. Um, probably can't see now, but... Um, yeah, that's the lights. Um, also, so you have um, your 12 volt charging, which is um, what you charge just when you're running your day-to-day -day stuff. Um, but if you are plugged into a, like either a wall or you're, you're at a can site, you would plug in from the other side the cord and that would go into 240 volt, which is um, higher power. Um, but these um, plugs work when you are plugged into 240 volt. And so if you are off grid and, you know, say you have a hairdryer or something and you need like a full on plug rather than just um, a cord, which is what I'm using to charge my phone right now. Um, underneath here, it's more storage again, uh, but this is your um, our off-grid charging. So if we have a computer or whatever, you just use this to charge and it works really well. All the charging here is awesome. It charges everything so quickly, which is super cool. Um, okay, and this is also how you pull it out just, just to the bed, but it has the battery first. Um, so this is the battery all in here. And the batteries in here um, work really well. Um, so these batteries aren't the ones that power the actual car itself from um, running. So the alternator charges the car battery and everything in here charges everything else in here uh, via the solar panel. So say this battery dies, doesn't mean your car battery will die as well, which is really awesome because that would be so bad if that happened. Um, but yeah, I'll pull out the bed and show you guys the bed. So you just pull it out. Okay, so this is when you just pull out the seat. Um, we always have that back one in here. And yeah, it's like massive. I think it's a queen size, maybe a king. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, when we're going to sleep, you just put a sheet down. You know, your doona and everything like that. But it's so comfy. It's um. We got it made from foam by this awesome upholsterer who was really nice and um, has done a few combis before. So yeah, really happy with this. So this is from the back. Probably can't see as well because it looks really dark on camera for some reason. Um, but yeah, this is just the back of the combi. Um, what I love is this, this VW automatic because this was originally a chrome like um, sticker sort of thing. Not a sticker, but um, one of those ones that stick out and obviously it's come off but it's left um, <laughs> the blue underneath and the rust has grown all around it which is pretty cool um, but yeah it'll be really cool when we have our um, number plate on as well it'll stand out heaps and this is the engine whoops <laughs> And what I really love about this is it's really dark right now, but it actually has a light on inside, which Tom will do for me because I'm no expert at this. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is it with the light on. It's actually way brighter than what the camera's showing. Um, but um, yeah, this is the engine. I don't really know too much. I mean, I know like the dipstick and where the um, um, transmission fluid and all that is, but other than that, I don't really know too much. Um, but yeah, the, the um, engine is an 1800 twin carby, which is um, better than some of the other combis. Some are like 1300 for the T1s, which is really bad. <laughs> um, but 
thankfully it goes pretty well this one um, yeah just our side batteries over there and yeah that's the engine got this cool looking exhaust going on um, which originally um, I'll attach a photo here probably as well um, have actually been made to look rusty like like the actual car itself was like um, had that patina look already and was preserved but these are made to look rusty which is pretty cool um, but yeah um, so this is the other side of the combi. Um, we actually learned from a Volkswagen specialist um, why um, the airflow thing is up here because Volkswagen used to actually make them down here but because of Australia and all the dirt and, and rocks and everything it was just completely ruining the engine and that's why they ended up changing it to up here which is obviously way better, way more efficient. Um, this is just where the fuel goes. Um, I don't actually know 100% what these are. I think these were put in when the um, seat bolts were put in, you know, obviously years and years ago. Um, and these are just the outside of it. And this is our um, charging cord that I was saying that if you are either at home, you can have an extension cord and plug it in, or if you're going um, off grid, not off grid, sorry, if you're going to like a camping park, then this is the plug in. Which is and this is just the um, outside from the fridge, which obviously lets all the air and stuff go in. Um, but yeah, that's basically our combi, so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!